Uh, hello, folks, everybody. Fino Black. Uh, hope everybody's going to have a good New Year. Yeah, it is New Year's Eve tonight. Uh, didn't really want to make this because it is New Year's Eve busy. You know, bringing in the New Year. Uh, but you got you need to look at everything that's going on. Now, that we have more proof that we basically have a planet. If you pay attention to, because the, the size won't really change, that this is lower, so we have absolute 100% actual fact here in front of your eyes that there is even another planet that's in our solar system that is lower than Earth because Earth's a little bit higher here than being right there as and you basically can watch all the footage on Sechi you can keep track of it it's in record you can go to Sechi JavaScript and you can get everything up to the 26 now I do believe I thought I was looking now I could be wrong on that I did pull up, I think, the 27th on something last night, and I might be able to do that by the end of this video. But there's so much action going on. I mean, I'm basically going to give this the title, The War of the Worlds, okay? Because basically, <laughs> there isn't no War of the Worlds right now, but there is tons of action going on in space that you can see electrical energy way bigger than the meatball, the cowboy meatball that's down in the left-hand corner. It's basically going across the screen from right to left, and also coming across the screen from right to right, okay? Because your lower right-hand corner would be going right to left, and then your upper hand left-hand corner would be going right to right, okay? And you can see all this electrical energy. It's sparking, and I'll slow it down a little bit, and we're just going to basically, this whole video is just going to be this footage, okay? So I slow it down a little bit, and then we, you also have 100% fact here in front of your eyeballs that this is not camera flare, because the camera's on it all the time. It actually catches the electrical energy, the magnification of Venus, and also whatever planet, because this is an Earth. We've showed you Earth before. This is a little lower. It's just above the meatball. And as you see again, it's really kind of hard to be somebody that get, doesn't get their pointer that can get their pointer to do that there that I'm doing and I'm pointing around. So I'll just keep using it as my pointer. But we're over here looking at Earth, which is basically higher, okay? So this really wasn't Earth here that I know of. Now even if it, and then if it comes down to the fact that it is Earth and we're wrong, then it's amazing what our atmosphere can do to protect us and keep us in our magnetical state to the sun, which the sun is over here. If anybody's new here, this is the sun over here, okay? The sun's, yes, about something like this huge, okay, because basically all that showering comes off of the sun. Now, all this electrical energy you're seeing popping across, that's suns out there that are, there's suns in the supergiant that are 78 times the size of the sun. I've told everybody that before, okay? There's a good, if you watch placement, this really probably is not Earth, but Earth is somewhere along the, the fringe of this here shot, okay? This is, ends up being a planet that's closer and that is the meatball. And we've already seen planets doing a reactive flare that are very large here between the Soho camera. And everything looks bright. And yes, you can't see through the meatball, but you can see what's between the meatball and the camera on the Soho telescope, basically the satellite. And yes, you are seeing a lot of electrical energy going popping across the screen. Okay, Flash electrically gamma rays this way. And or if you want to call it quasars, because quasar gamma ray pretty much okay when a when suns start going begin it takes thousands of years for them to even get into the completion of their or get halfway through their supernova okay takes thousands of years billions of years even pop we don't even really know that's what constant physics is keeps on studying this because suns are in our stars and they're different sizes and so some can keep going supernova for new who knows how long okay that's what we're constantly the Hubble telescopes helped us figure out a lot. And these telescopes, this SOHO action, Beacon, Lasco, whatever you want to call it, this is Sechi Navy, it's all the same conglomerate. This your U.S. tax dollars pay for this, okay? Your Air Force and then every branch of the military, Navy, Army, everything, okay? Marines, yes, Coast Guard, everything. CIA, the black box, why the CIA is going to be looking at stars and stuff like that, I would not know. But they sure pay attention to Bino in here checking it out and telling you and showing you the actual factual what's going on in space. Okay? And no, I don't have low disk space, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? So, 
all this stuff is going on in space and I can slow this electrical energy down a little bit and this is basically my New Year's present to the world because basically just that you know and it's that your taxpayer dollars paid for this okay and I gotta put that back because I didn't want that I wanted to just uh, we'll hit play I think I got it now nah, it's going reverse so now so now you know how to you know I've showed people here and here how to and we'll slow it down some more and we'll get this big electrical energy that's going all the way across millions even billions of miles and actually it's trillions because a lot of this electrical energy that you're going to see since I've got it slowed down that comes in here that does that then they now see that electrical energy came across all that electrical energy so let me basically hit reverse and let's take that electrical energy and freeze it up there when it comes in that's what we're talking about you see that flash there comes all the way across the basically what you want to do as space but use the sky of space and then I'll hit forward and then you'll see see that flash there this is not coming from the Sun okay this is coming from way the hell out in space and then you have to start figuring out what direction it's coming from and what's odd is it sure seems to be can we get it going here coming from basically the stars that we know that we have found a long time ago up behind Uranus now hit reverse there you go you see all this is not coming from the Sun okay and it's not coming from the super giants because the super giants even though there's temperature they're pretty much majority of them are all up behind the Sun basically they're all in this direction the majority of them there are some super giants that are over in this direction remember this is not 360 this is 180 of your 360 degree view in space because we're just looking from ace across space here okay and then basically I'll finish up the video and we'll, we'll go ahead and then see this is all that action that you basically I'm talking about and now I'll see if I got what direction I got going and I got it going reverse so now we'll hit it and it should be going that's going the right direction and we'll speed it up a little bit we'll get somewhere close to the speed that when you and then this is all going on see I got the speed going crazy right but big deal you get to see all the action that goes on in 24 hours up there in space okay and then you can take and go to the player and you can slow it down and get an actual factual you can get it really slowed down okay and I'm not going to slow it down that much but you can get what's going on in actual space directions of everything coming off of the Sun over here and now I'll go ahead right and we'll go over to B okay so all this stuff's happening and like I say even if this ends up being Earth we're safe we're fine we know that we're a rabbit hiding out in a hole and the cowboy meatball is pretty much gone but actually if you pay attention to all the positions before Earth is a little higher we're about right up here Earth is about right up there I'm figured now if I'm wrong then that's right down here and we're fine too anyway because see there's enough passage and more than likely this thing's so big and everything like that how is it ever gonna float out of its orbit and get too damn close this is the closest it can probably ever be and everything our closest object is February 13th through the 16th of next year 2013 so it's coming up 213 pretty soon and February 13th through the 16th is coming up pretty soon so there you go and we should all it should be safe as hell because that DA 2014 is not that damn big okay it's not gonna knock Earth out of anything into the dinosaur age or out of the dinosaur age or to black okay be no black yes be no black day okay we're always worried about what's up with the Sun because otherwise we got to turn put a bunch of rockets and get closer to another Sun okay so let's look at, at B now all the distances of space you see now what you can see what's over it and that's how massive the distance is and this is what's been going on over at and actually I think we had the last couple videos or something when I showed you B we had more a little bit wilder flash like that the electrical energy see this is all electrical energy it's not flames okay everybody's thinking well all those are flames no they're not flames it's all electricity okay and it's all dust nanoparticles off of the Sun okay so yes every time that you see uh, heightened activity of like this that's gonna mean that the Sun is gonna die this normal speed okay so is this no normal speed no it's not of late the Sun has been kinda going a little faster than what it normally does okay so like it say it takes billions of years to get into a supernova it's gonna take thousands of years to turn supernova and no I'm not saying that the Sun is going supernova it's not 
But whatever it's doing on its travel through the Milky Way galaxy, it's doing. And we have sped up, Earth has, from its average of 60,000 miles an hour through space, magnetically dragged after the sun. And yes, we orbit around the sun somewhat in a normal circle, but we still rifle because it's basically a rifling action through the Milky Way galaxy. Okay? So, it gets to the deal, you always have to realize that the idea that, okay, in, uh, in the, which is going to be infinite, because infinitely, Earth is going to, until it somehow implodes someday, is going to always travel through the Milky Way galaxy. How often have we ever went to the center and then got spit back out from the center of the Milky Way galaxy? Because basically, we all know that we move through a spiral to the center of the Milky Way galaxy, or we're exiting the Milky Way galaxy. Now only NASA knows whether we're spinning to the center of the Milky Way galaxy or if we are spinning out of the Milky Way galaxy. Okay? Now we know Sagittarius A or whatever, it's just Sagittarius is the biggest star in the center of the galaxy, Milky Way galaxy. Okay? So this is Earth if you through all my blabble. And now we'll zoom in on Earth because basically Earth as I've been sitting here is doing its normal counterclockwise rotation to the sun, which is to the left, okay? Now, there's also the great possibility how huge that the meatball is, the flashing that you're seeing might not be coming from the sun. Correct, okay? Now, back up the footage where we started from ACE. You see what I'm saying? And how large the sun and all this atmosphere and electrical energy that's out there, plus the meatball. There's the possibility that this could be the meatball and whatever that planet atmosphere that we see on the other side on ACE the footage so go back to the ACE footage and I will here in a second okay but this is as you see that I took you to the time in the clicker this is B side okay earth is doing its counterclockwise rotation there that's our atmosphere and then you know by basically me popping down here you know that you're at B okay we're at B and now I'm gonna go back to A and realize that with the massive distances of space, that they might just be looking at what we've seen on A, it might be, but this could be just, this could be the sun, totally, but it also could just be, just be, just alone, could be, yes, all that could just be whatever planet this is that's lower than the Earth doing that, okay, that we're seeing over on B. Because we know where the sun's here no matter what, we can see where the sun's here. And yes, when we're at B, we know where the sun's at also. But this could just be what's been flashing over on B. And we'll go back to B real fast. Okay? So is, there is a possibility that that could be here between at the angle that B is shooting from. They, they are, you know the sun's to the left. And that could, this could just be the sun. All that, that's doing that is the sun over there. But also remember that from B... It can shoot back and it could be showing you the meatball and the action of the meatball on those planets, but this should be the sun, okay? It really should be the sun. So no matter what, we got a lot of activity going on from wherever you're looking from A or B. And see, we've had the new satellite that's going to be giving us an above shot, and I think there's going to be a matching pair and be one below the sun. So we're going to end up with one. I know we're going to end up with one above the sun, a satellite. Now we've got ACE and, and B here. I'm at B, and we always call A ACE. Okay, so we're going to have A, B, and I don't know if they're going to call it C and D. But they launched that not too long ago, at least one of them, for damn sure. And it's, one of them is going to be a satellite that's going to be above or below the sun. Okay, so we're going to end up with four different shots of looking at the sun pretty soon, one of these days, from Soho Navy. Your tax dollars paid for it, okay? So, no, your country can never sell out to a foreign country. That's why we have constitutional rights, the Second Amendment, and that's why there's certain political things that need to be considered your Trojan horse of your constitutional rights. Because everything is upheld, your constitutional rights, because you can't fight a government or powers to be that uh, don't let you have guns. Okay? They want your guns because then you could be able to fight to keep your constitutional rights. Okay? It's that simple. That's why we've always had the militia in the... And that's right. Go out and form a new, a new militia. Many militias, ladies and gentlemen, because the idea that you have the right under U.S. constitutional rights to protect the Bill of Rights and the constitutional rights to make sure that your tax dollars keep giving you what you want. And I'm basically showing you what your tax dollars pay for, and you can see out in space that the idea that there is 
tons of stuff. Space is infinite in size, and whatever anybody wants to argue religion, and I'm religious, and I don't get it, I'm not a Bible beater, I'm not.